Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so I wanna make this video about the QX60 Nissan Pathfinder, particularly the hybrids. Now, if you guys are looking to buy the hybrid version of these vehicles, just know that the uh, it's not a real hybrid. The battery is like half the battery of what a real hybrid battery is. Like, um, uh, if a high a regular hybrid battery is like 18 kilowatts uh, The battery on this would be 9 kilowatts. Somebody explained that to me uh, It has a very small hybrid battery obviously um, 2016 to I'm not quite sure uh, What years this extends out to but if you guys have the either the AC or the or the heater on if you guys have the AC or the heater on I will tell you that you guys have those two things on um, your car will not shut off like I've had a Prius I've had a Highlander hybrid Toyota Highlander hybrid I've had a Prius hybrids those are real hybrids you can have the heating system on or the AC system on and they will shut off for a good um, they will shut off for a good, I don't know, like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, sometimes a little bit less, um, and then turn back on once the hybrid battery uh, is depleted to a certain amount. However, this is not the case here. The AC compressor on this vehicle is connected to the engine for the AC to work. Uh, for the AC to work, you would need to have the car running. As far as the heat is concerned um, I believe it does not have a an electrical water pump obviously if you guys don't know how the heating system works in these vehicle um, it, it, it normally with newer vehicles with hybrid vehicles what happens is that um, they, they they have these vehicles with a mechanical water pump meaning that there's an electrical motor in there that doesn't need the engine to uh, power the, the 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 water pump in this vehicle i not not 100 sure but i think that the water pump is um mechanically powered meaning the engine actually supplies it's connected to the serpentine belt is what i'm saying so basically, if you have any of the temperature, if you have any of the temperature on, like the heat or AC, climate control, climate on, which most people have, will have, it's going to be too cold or too warm for the most part, um, uh, your, your engine's going to be running. Once you turn off the climate, then it turns, then, then it turns off, um, which is... Um, which I've heard um, reduces. You're not getting. You're not going to get uh, good MPG on a hybrid with the engine running all the time. Now, uh, to be honest with you, I've had pretty good results with this vehicle as far as MPG is concerned. But I'm going to put that in another video. Um, it's. So basically, if you're thinking about getting this vehicle as a true hybrid where the engine shuts off for 15 minutes and then cuts back on when uh, when uh, when when the battery is depleted, this is not that kind of vehicle. But um, for what it is, I'm still enjoying this vehicle. I mean, I'm, I, I wanted a true hybrid. It's not a true hybrid. I still like this vehicle. But if you guys have this, uh, have this SUV drop a comment in the comment section let us know whether this is a decent SUV or not whether um, you guys have any of your own personal issues with it um, whether you guys think it's a great value for the money whether you're getting pretty decent MPGs or not All right guys take care